instant coffee because you won't have access to electric coffee makers. For maintaining routines like before clubs, uh, bartering or for coffee. Powdered hot chocolate for heat and for endorphins. Because it's kind of druggy. It can be druggy, so when you get in a, in a clop situation and things get really bored and uh, you start getting depressed. Hot coffee or hot chocolate will help raise your endorphins. Coconut oil for healthy fats that run your brain for clarity and stores for 25 years or so as it is. And we, it's actually pretty good. We, we have coconut oil. You can cook with it. It's got a low cooking temperature though, so it can catch fire easier. But as long as you're careful. If there's a problem last minute and you need more food, the best place to go is an ethnic food store. Know where these are in advance. Less people know or think about these. And I have a list of four of them right here. So you guys can look at that. Everyone goes to grocery stores and they forget about these little stores. There's two in the front, two in the back, right? Although I couldn't find pictures on the back, so I just put the maps. I think I used two from Riverview, two from Moncton. They sell food that, you know, most people wouldn't think of that sells food. You missed one. Oh, I'm sure I missed a lot. Oh, the main one's on uh, West Main. Um, West Main, that would be... Uh, when you go up on RV and you, turn, you get to the lights on West Main, you turn left and like three buildings down on the right, it's a convenience store, but the back half of it's all uh, Asian oh. food. So big, okay. big bags of rice. Really? Some yeah, there's, um, I miss a lot. But that's where I go for if there's anything special I want, I go to him. Because he usually has stuff for sushi and things like that. Okay. can't get elsewhere. So you say you turn left. That would be if you're going from Riverview, you yeah. turn left? So if you're going up Barnard and Harvey, when you get to lights next to the Sophie's. As if I was going towards Moncton. Yeah. Not from Moncton. Okay. Yeah. You just turn left on the west main and... It's a couple buildings down? A couple buildings down on the right. right. Can't quite place it, but uh, I'll keep an eye out for it. I've never stopped in that area, so I don't know where the stores are. I think I know where it is. I said you go to the back and you get all the yeah. Asian food for nice. Good Korean or I think he's Korean. So if you're gonna make uh, sake, that's probably the place to go to get some rice, large quantities of rice. Probably. Yeah, but the rice for sake is special. I know. Well, I mean, you could probably use anything, but it would affect the flavor. Yeah, yeah. I'd tell you that. <coughs> but, I guess the, the point is that uh, everyone's going to go to the grocery store. They say, uh, you know, they say, like, in, a, in an apocalypse, I, I use that word apocalypse, but three days and the grocery stores are empty. And if the fuel's gone, there won't be more deliveries. So, uh, at the most, there's only three days worth in a regular grocery store. So these places will probably won't be hit first. And they may not be hit at all if people don't know they're there. Or a few people. So they're your better bet sometimes. Okay, don't tell people. Don't tell your friends. Your friends will think you're crazy now until it happens and they need your help. They will come to you and it will be difficult to say no. Then they will eat you away, starting with the tastiest stuff, not the shortest lasting stock. So that's it. If you have good, if you have stock, whatever your stock of food is, they'll always go for the tastier stuff, which has usually got the longest shelf life. So they'll start with that, and then the stuff that expires first will be last, which ruins it for everybody. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If you are in this dangerous possible situation, maybe you should think of having a decoy stash to give them while keeping your best stuff for your own family. If you find or bring canned food, but no can opener, haha, ha, this is fun. There are several ways you can open it. Practice this exercise. Three different ways of opening cans without that I know of. 
We're gonna do it for fun. For fun, 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 fun. I will get some cans of food. I thought they were here already. Maybe I'll move some of this thing like this. I know one that we used before a <laughs> lot. So it doesn't smell like gas. Don't break it, it's mine. Yep. <laughs> no problem. And if you want to eat it, you can eat it. There's yours. There's yours. There's two spoons. How do you open a can with a spoon? Grab it. I'll, I'll show you the motion, but then you guys can do it. I, it'll hurt your hand a bit, so I find like, like the grab like that. And you start like right there. And you force it in and you can work it all the way around quite easily. Two! The first puncture is probably the hardest. Go. Mine is open. The first one's hard. Yeah, there, he's going. Look at that. Go off. Mmm. <laughs> go ahead. So good. Go ahead. Someone has to eat it or it's going to go bad. <laughs> Did you get it through yet? The first one? No. The first part's the hardest, but once you get it. You're gonna die, just so you know. <laughs> You're gonna survive. We did not do this in the military. No, we had, we had our belt, and they had those uh, metal. Uh, oh yeah. And we used to do it with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Not to the because normally you don't have a spoon or. But take your belt and try it. I always had one of little just. Or you might be able to start it with the other end, even. And then you can switch sides. As long as it doesn't poke through hard and then squirts everywhere. And... I think it's easier on the other side, actually. And then once you get you it going. Just... Yeah, you got to rock it. Like... Rock it, yeah. Yep. Once, you... once it gets through, it's once like... It's the, Yeah, yeah. Lunch is served. I did the same thing. I did it the other day to show Ezra, mm -hmm. and then I ate the whole can. I wasn't going to. I wasn't. But then I'm like, ooh, this is good. <laughs> Even if it's cold and whatever. Well, it's... Yeah, I eat the spaghetti and stuff like that cold. So, come on, come on. Your whole family's depending on you. My whole family can. Do it right <laughs> They'd probably have it open first. Probably. <laughs> Again, that's why I keep a multi-tool. Oh, that's too easy, though. Yeah, you, yeah, you need to know how to do it this way. I think you gave me the thin can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a good dent going. Ah. <laughs> uh. So maybe the spoon is different. Wow. <laughs> Do you want me to start it for you? <laughs> You're going to run out of energy and die of starvation first. <laughs> oh. That is hard on the hand. It can be. Yeah. That's why the grip is important too. And yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Stop this. Yeah. One of us got it. Maybe the 
on the street. It's different. I told you. But once it pops, it'll be like butter. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. You will see probably yours is a lot thicker than. Well, then I'm getting quite a dent into it. So it should let go at any moment or any hour. <laughs> you can't get more your hands. Come on. <laughs> this is for a separate method. <laughs> Only two more after that, too. Two more? Yep. <laughs> I recorded it with that already. Oh, my. Oh. We used to do this, and then we used to rub on a piece of uh, black cement or whatever. That's nice. <laughs> uh, we did this many <laughs> times. Yeah. This is the, actually the easier. Ooh. Just go yeah. rub it and pull. Yeah. And if you have, like, Stone like you have here, yep. feather, mm -hmm. or used to put it on the on the deck of the vessel and rub it and. Yeah. Oh, thought I heard it back. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> but it's I still don't think it's here. I think it's actually popping. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Supposed to be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the can. Some of them yeah, I suppose, maybe. Yeah. I always like to get the dust off too first. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Did you want something to drink? Like water or oh, tea, mm -hmm. coffee? <laughs> you work for a supper. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in the garbage now, so someone might as well eat it. Hey, can you warm it up? I can eat it up. No, it's good like this. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, that friggin' light. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> <laughs> He's so hungry. Uh, <laughs> like a lamp, he's very good. I'm gonna put a liquid on the end of it. No, no, it's not bad. I can oh. try that open. And... Oh, you got it going. There we go. That's it. It seems to be quite thick. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> easy way is easy. That's why it's called easy. You gotta do it the hard way. And when I did it too, just for fun, I went all the way around just to make sure I could. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can yeah. But if you gotta close it again too, that's a big old thing. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yep. Time again, it will be lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. The nice thing about this one is you can just pry it open with a little lip. And I s yeah, you could. Oh, there, that made a good sound. My hand's probably killing me by now. I would say uh, even wear a glove, but you probably won't have gloves with you unless it's colder weather. Easy. So, we'll blame it on the can. <laughs> <laughs> this one was pretty easy to go. Yeah. It could be a cover thing. Easy to open, easy to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what brand is yours? Campbell's. 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 Oh, these ones are totally different. Heinz and Del Monte. Three hours later. They finally got it sorted. Is good? <laughs> Not bad. You had to work for it. <laughs> 